Christmas morning was never quite one set time. It was always between the three of them. One would always wake up super early or the other one and then everything would get all messed up. So we'd always have to try to keep them in their room at somehow so that they could all come down at once and start to open presents at once. But it wasn't easy because they were definitely, if we kept them in there too long, they'd get to squabbling with each other and pretty soon they'd be fighting over who was gonna get down first, so. John's a firefighter paramedic. He'd work 24 hour shifts. So they would have to wait till he came home. <laughs> And sometimes he would stay in longer so the guys with even younger kids could stay home and let them open presents, so. I wouldn't get home till about 8.30 or 9 o'clock sometimes, and I, I'm sure she had some struggles with that one. Luckily, as you know, they like to eat, so. <laughs> I could <laughs> hold them true. off a little bit longer with a really big breakfast that lasted longer than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that we went out and cut a tree every year, but we would always love to have, whenever we did have a, a real tree, we'd all go out as a family on one given night and, and pick it out and uh, come home, and that was, that was definitely one of the traditions. The kids had to stick around and we had to decorate the tree together. And then it was nice as they grew up, then as we got the decorations out, that they would want to help. So it's those things that while you're building the traditions when they're young, you start to realize as they get older that they really do mean something to them as well. I mean, any holiday that involves eating is, is a favorite of the Watt household, that's for sure. But uh, for TJ, he seems to take a particular liking to it. I just love Christmas, I, I really do. The coziness, the, the family vibe that it gives off. Uh, anytime you can decorate and have the house feel cozy when you come home. My girlfriend helped me put up my tree this year, so I also compete with my family because I always decorate the best. If he could decorate in June for Christmas, he would be decorating for, he'd have his tree up and everything. I'm always the first to decorate. Uh, it's, there's some, some days in college where I was decorating right after uh, Halloween, it got bad. Derek got into it a little bit because in college I got him really involved in the Christmas stuff. JJ never really was a big Christmas guy. Um, but this year, he, he stepped up his game a little bit. He, he goes above and beyond, though. He, I, I do all this stuff myself. He, he does the paid help, so I don't think that really counts. The Steelers were down in Houston, obviously, mm -hmm. for Christmas, and TJ did get to come over to JJ's house down there. And even though Derek wasn't there, he was playing a game somewhere out in L.A. or something. But for the two of them to be together, that was, that was really nice. It would have been so nice to have Derek and Gabrielle there, too. But at least two of them got to be together with us, and I know TJ really enjoyed that. It's just really special. Anytime we can get together, like, we're in totally different time zones. It's it's so cool to be able to be in the same place at the same time. Sometimes running different ways during during the holidays and everything too. So it's sometimes a, the tradition would be a phone call to each other to say, hey, how's, how did that go today at the, at the tournament? It revolved around hockey. It really did because a lot of times we'd be gone for hockey tournaments and everything and we'd always try to do something special wherever we were with the kids for hockey. Well, I remember the little hockey stick candy canes that uh, we had growing up and we were a big hockey family and uh, just those family uh, memories that we have and just spending really good quality time together. You're just really thankful and really appreciative of uh, those who have been with you from the very start. Well, it's tradition in the Watt House to watch the Griswold family Christmas. I said that wrong, didn't I? Chris, what the heck is it? National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. In the Watt household, uh, Christmas Vacation is one of our favorite movies. The kids like to sit down and watch it every year, and they, we sit down with them and watch it. And uh, they like it so much that sometimes they uh, even get the parents the paraphernalia from the movie. And as you can see, this is one of the things I got for Christmas last year. And they would probably tell you that I'm a lot like Clark That's in some why we ways. Have the we're over like, there. Yeah, the Griswold family house is on the thing over there. I just watched uh, the Griswolds uh, last night, and uh, I gotta start recording more. Uh, but I try to have them all recorded so when everyone comes over, they can just pick out whatever movie they want to watch. What was the name of that movie? It was Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way. That <laughs> yes. Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. My brothers and I are goofy, and we always quote uh, quote all the, all the lines. You got cookies. <laughs> yeah. Your wife's cookies are out of this world. Who told you you can eat my cookies? Cookies. Dad, put that cookie down! Put that cookie down! Now! <laughs> That's all you're getting out of me. And I said, I want to get the robot for JJ for Christmas. And I said, boy, I hope it's not one of those, that, like in the movie where you pay $300 and it's talking in Spanish. <laughs> so we got that the one year it and they each got, got it, yep. Mighty Ducks jerseys because they love the movie Mighty Ducks. We were always just so excited to, to wake up and, and go down and open up the presents and because we knew it was a whole day event. I think it's the same for us as with a lot of people. It's just the time for family, and especially now more than ever, because we're, we spend so much time apart, whenever we can get together as a family, whether it's all three of them, or nowadays it's usually just we spend, spend it at one of their houses, and sometimes two can get together at some point. If we could just have 
a day or two where all three of the boys could be together and we could be together as a family again, that would be the most special. Family is everything. It, it really is. I, I don't know where I would be without uh, my parents being able to come out here every now and then to be able to help me be a homeowner. This is all my first time doing everything. I'm, I'm still young. I'm, I'm out here in Pittsburgh by myself, like I said. and. To be able to have such a strong pillar in my life to lean on, and not only my parents, but my brothers as well. You can't even put it into words how special uh, that bond is that we have. And to have people who know me for me through and through, even though life gets crazy, something that uh, I'm forever grateful for.